The lazy days of hopping from bay to bay, soaking up the sun, enjoying some amazing reefs, and hiking through the tropical forests are now upon us. We have finally made it back to the USVIs, and this time we're really going to enjoy all that St. John's has to offer. There's over a dozen white sand beaches and bays to explore, all between two and seven nautical miles apart. The trade winds are usually steady out of the east, and it's all champagne afternoon sailing to your next adventure. This island is an anchorless national park, which means for the most part, you need to catch a mooring ball if you want to stop off in one of the bays. This helps the coral reefs and the grass beds. And grass beds mean lots of turtles, and you know we love our turtle time. to get a ton of boat work done here since we've been in Maho Bay here. So yesterday day we dove the bottom of the boat. We get a little bit of hard growth, some barnacles sticking to us, no soft growth, which is nice. And uh, so we put in a couple hours of scrubbing down there yesterday. We're gonna try and get down there and finish it today. We did a freshwater wash on the whole top side yesterday. And then this morning we went out and had a couple five gallon buckets of fresh water and wash the hull which needed a good scrub there's so much dust and junk in the air that collects and you end up with these dark stains running down so we just did that and uh, now we're going to dive back in the water and do a little bit more scrubbing and you can see how we uh, get our barnacles off Tamara came up with a really good idea for a tool so that we could get down and get a bigger surface area so it's working out pretty good we're probably going to modify that down the road but for now it's helping out a ton Pretty clean, it turned out really good. The hull looks great. Wow, does it ever look good? Yeah. Good job, baby. All I could do was hold the diggy there, and she did all the scrub, but my arms are still a mess. Take a saunter down the beach. Let's check out Maho. Let's check out Maho. There's a food trucks down there. There's Hani. Dancing a little bit. A little bit of dancing. Look at this Comes next again. one. Oh, it's a shore break. <laughs> oh, that's crazy the swells come in big time yeah maho beach isn't your typical run-of-the-mill beach bar food truck hangout spot 
1976, a man named Stan recognized the beauty of this area and the effects that the residential development and vast tourist numbers were having on St. John. So he set out to demonstrate that a tourist resort can protect the delicate ecosystem while still offering travelers a close proximity to nature. He envisioned a cluster of modern tents and cottages, I guess you could call it glamping at its finest in the 70s, at an ecotourism resort, which has now carried on to today and grown into a destination spot for locals, vacationers, and cruisers. Best of all, the ecosystem above and below the water have been pristinely maintained. Mahitako! So exciting! So what's the downside of this beautiful place? It's really expensive. Really, so, really expensive. We got these two drinks. We got a beer, vodka soda. $26. U.S. U.S. Yeah. Tacos. Mahi tacos. $25. So I guess it all comes with an expense. <laughs> you get paradise yeah. for a little bit of money. Yeah. Fifty-some dollars for a couple little tacos and a drink. Yeah. So this is a one-stop. <laughs> Probably not do this one over and over, that's for sure. No. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, very cool. It's a neat place. It's set up really cool. All of the games and stuff in the back area, uh, which is really neat. There's like Jenga and Connect Four and all that kind of stuff. Tons of seating. It's really neat and interesting, but uh, not for us. <laughs> How many did I win? How many did I win? Not. <laughs> How many did you win? Great. <laughs> I am. Oh, baby. the Jenga match of the century. Ah. <laughs> One. I guess you can. <laughs> After a fun-filled day at Maho Bay, it was time to get back to Hanu. Quick swim out to the dinghies. So, most of uh, the beaches in St. John's are national park. You cannot bring boats to shore. So they have these like dinghy park areas out here where you can see this. Everyone moors them here and then you swim into the beach, which is cool because it protects all the swimmers and stuff. And, uh, but it, there's- Etiquette. There's etiquette. What do you see wrong in this picture? One of these things just don't belong. Not the fact that it's a Yamaha, because that's awesome. Yep. But. I can see the prop. Yeah. Don't take your prop out of the water, people. That's not going to hit anything except other boats. Yeah. Not necessary. Not necessary. All right, let's get going. Oh. We made it, baby. Made it, made it. Come to the beach and back. <laughs> we made it. It was awesome to go to our Maho Beach and see all the stuff they have there. The swell's huge today, so there's very little beach, but it was a lot of fun to go there. It was.
was. Now, do we stay in this beautiful bay for the rest of the day? Or do we go? Or do we go around the corner? There's a ton of them. It's a hard, hard decision to make. Well, the ocean's calmed down, so it might be decent for snorkeling. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> left the anchorage and uh, we're heading around the other side of the island it's weird this big storm north in the Atlantic has pushed this massive swell in and yesterday we were goofing around in it and it's crazy but take a look at this to Coral Harbor. That was a fun little cruise over here today. Uh, the wind was right in our nose the or, yeah the wind was in our nose the entire time. So sails didn't go up unfortunately but uh, it was nice. It was a little skirt around the outside of the island which was good. We got a little fishing in unfortunately no fish on but we are now going to be all about the food here. Uh, this is the home of Lime Out which is a uh, a uh, bar on the water taco stand, which you can bet somebody's super excited about that. As well, it's the home of Skinny Legs, which is famous for their burgers. So this is like Josh's all-time favorite bay that we're in right now. So we're gonna go check it out and uh, we'll let you know what we think. <laughs> this is an awesome marg. Not like it's in these. Stays cold. We need some sun to go with it, but it's 
pretty good. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this delivery. Fresh tacos. <laughs> it's taco time. I don't think so. Uh, I think we're good. Thank yeah. you. Are you super excited? Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's taco time. Sorry. I know they're big bars now. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So, ceviche, tuna, tuna. You got chicken also? Okay. Now go. I want. Look at this. <laughs> that is epic. Hello, yummy. That's right? Oh. Okay, so chicken. Yeah, um. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that is drippy. That's the sign of a good taco. <laughs> is it worth it? Tacos. Check. Biddy, as always, it was an amazing time. Now it's time to head into town and finish off our tour of Coral Bay with some dinner at Skinny Legs. It's burger time, baby. Join us next week as we travel a bit further east to Lampshire Bay for some underwater adventure, interesting food choices, and ancient discoveries. Catch you later!